The Federal Reserve is most likely halting its interest rate hikes in June, but a strong easing cycle isn't in the cards with inflation remaining above the central bank's target, according to Elaine Stokes at Luna Sales. And we believe that the Fed is going to be a little slower to react in cutting rates. Stokes, a senior portfolio manager at the nearly century-old investment firm, uh, said the, on the podcast, the market's a little bit uh, ahead of itself. Uh, here are some highlights of the conversation which have been condensed and edited for clarity. Uh, you keep a close eye on credit markets, and it's been so much talk lately uh, about uh, a potential credit crunch. Um, I I'm curious how you're thinking about the macro of conditions for credit right now. And, um, you know, uh, that's the big question of the day. And it seems to us that what has happened and what we're really seeing out of this banking turmoil is that we have seen uh, a proof point that all these moves by the Fed are finally working. But they're working in people's risk appetite going down for things like new technology, crypto, even some private equity, but we're not seeing it in our day-to-day -day lives. We're not seeing it to the extent that you would expect to be seeing it in normal day-to-day -day borrowing. If we continue to have equity markets telling us that regional banks aren't safe, then regional banks and banks in general will then continue to tighten their standards, and that's going to start to hit those small and medium-sized businesses. And that's a space that we haven't started to see the pain in yet. And if that happens, I think we all have a different view of what the recession will look like. Um, we don't have a weak bank market. Um, we have strong banks, uh, and it's a confidence game, and we need to do something to squelch the confidence. Um, uh, or it is going to start to affect uh, the economy. Um, um, and it's basically likely important for Rod and after some time and, uh, and certain vested to people in terms of uh, medical decade of the showers. And you can see that we're so important for me uh, um, because of what's happening with uh, the regional banks and the debt ceiling talks. I think the Fed will absolutely pause at its next meeting. The longer term, um, our view is that there are some big picture secular trends that are going to keep inflation elevated, not necessarily elevated at 5%, but I think it's going to be really, really hard to get to target. We believe that the Fed is going to be a little slower to react in cutting rates. We think the market's a little bit ahead of itself here. Um, the market, I think, is pricing in one of those first two short-term items going horribly wrong and the Fed having to come in and really cut. Um, there's what we refer to as the, the four Ds. Uh, we have demographics working against us. We have deglobalization um, working against us. Uh, we have decarbonization working against us and growing deficits. Uh, we have those, those four things that we all are familiar with that are all potential inflationary. Um, and it's going to be hard for the Fed to take their fill off the pedal completely. It just doesn't feel like a strong time cycle is our future. Where are you seeing value in fixed income? Um, what I love about fixed income is you kind of have to triangulate. We have over 5% in the short end, up from under 2%. And for the last several years. Any of us would look at 5% as, wow, that's a nice, healthy return. Let's not forget that inflation's still around 5%. Then if you take more sort of um, my risk, um, get involved in, uh, in high yield, uh, we're talking about 8.5 to 9% um, type of yields. Um, so that's that's really attractive. So the yield levels got really and also gotten much larger than they were um, a year ago. Um, we've pretty much almost doubled um, in spread levels that we're getting um, from our tights. So that means that we're getting paid a bigger premium um, to take uh, on some risk. Um, Is it enough that it looks like we're getting paid as if we're in a downturn or a recession?
not quite. But the difference right now is that the dollar price is lower. We have been living in a market where dollar prices for bonds have been well over par for a very, very long time. And now we're looking at dollar prices that index averages are close to 90 cents on the dollar. So not only can you buy that bond uh, at the 5% or the 5%, but you also have the potential to go up those 10 price points if there's any type of positive economic moves or specific moves. That and so when I look at all three together and really think about the technicals in the market, and then when I talk about the technicals in the market, what, what I'm really referring to is the lack of issuance. We've had very, very low issuance levels over the last few years. Borrowers have gone private, and that has made a big difference in the markets in the number of buyers out there looking for product. So when I consider all that together, I think that there's value in this market, and uh, it's in the short end, yes, but we also can go down the risk spectrum a little bit and pick up some nice low dollar price bonds that have the potential to go up and a lot of excess heat.